of our health and of our food intakes. The question is that uh, I'm not an athlete. I hope we, I, I, I will be someday. But uh, in that case, we're going to measure every calorie that we are taking every day on a single meal. And um, the idea here is that if we can have a sensor that we can uh, put it on our teeth and it's invisible and it will can count the amount of calories that we're taking every day and uh, we can measure the amount of calorie intake by just uh, a simple scan by our phone but just like uh, we're, we're going to use the NFC technology and we are just scanning uh, just keeping the uh, mobile device which already has the NFC so we don't have to pay more for that kind of technology and just for like three to four times a day, we just keep the phone over here and put it down, and it can scan. It can scan all the amount of energy that the, and calorie that we had on that day. Um, it's not like something that uh, we just care about on our diet. You know, uh, in some families, uh, we have some more serious problems like diabetes. So it's probably in. Usually, it's something that it goes in family. So we have considered the kind of not kind of Netflix. We have a family plan for families who uh, really need to consider that issue. And on top of that, uh, there are always physicians who want to track what we are eating. We really don't want to just you know just when we go to shopping, just scan the barcode of the uh, food package and see how much calories, what's the ingredient inside. And then calculate, okay, I can take this, I, oh, if, if I can take this out, I cannot uh, get my mom's delicious cake at the evening, and this is going to make some <laughs> kind of edits work. So uh, our key activity here is that we want to uh, make a relation to the customer so that they can trust us. So because uh, we are actually focusing on uh, a main call device, which also can be used for uh, daily health um, issues. So we want to actually uh, make a trust in our brand. We, we, we want to expand the uh, um, uh, kind of uh, all the uh, trust. <laughs> you can, I can just uh, I can just uh, build on this one. And uh, well, we have different se segments of our customers. So I, I call it the back, um, I call it the front end customers of this device, which can be an athlete, can be pregnant woman, can be um, people on diet who are really putting the sensor on your teeth. On the other side of that can be the nutritionists or hospitals who are going to use the device. And uh, up here, we're going to. Yeah. So we heard a little bit about our customers, um, but now I want to talk about the relationships that we want to form with the customers. We want them to get a community through this device and it's a company app so that they can share stats about you know whether they're meeting their dietary goals if it's someone who's trying to follow a keto diet or if it's someone who's you know, looking at their macronutrients if they're trying to like, gain muscle um, and also giving them automated service and updates and dedicated personal service 24 7. Um, the way that we're going to do this the channels is Mostly starting with awareness, we're going to start with sort of beta testers, and this is going to be twofold in terms of learning what we need to change about this device before we can do more broad sort of marketing. Um, but also, if we choose our beta testers wisely in the form of influencers or athletes, they can also do some of the marketing for us when we actually launch the product. Um, the way that we'll evaluate whether this product is working or not is through um, app store feedback and reviews. And uh, people can purchase our device in store or online, and they can download the accompanying app through any of these main app stores. Um, and then through the use of the device and the app together, they will get the value, and um, they'll have dedicated customer service for after they purchase. And our key revenue streams here would be mostly asset sales. It is a health wearable device, and so we can um, sort of price this a little bit on the higher end, um, similar to a Fitbit model where you could go maybe even 80% above manufacturing costs, um, but also premium subscription fees for those who, for instance, want to follow a very specific diet. Um, also licensing, as well as collecting user data for our own internal R&D and for uh, advanced training plans. And then our key partners on this other side here are going to 
really predominantly be the wearable device manufacturers and you know I really want to draw your attention to Fitbit because we would almost want to partner with them specifically to provide the key thing that's missing from their health wearables, which is what is your calorie intake, which we all know is what determines your weight overall. Um, and then for marketing, I mentioned these beta testers, Instagram influencers, and athletes, but gyms as well. Uh, IT infrastructure is going to be very important because we do have an accompanying app, and uh, we'll have professional recommenders in the form of nutritionists or dentists and then we'll need to get our intellectual property in order to get our patents and to get things like trademarks. And then our key resources in that regard are going to be actually producing a quality product, and this will be coming from R&D, having all of our own intellectual product, property in order, uh, making sure that there's good quality control for the devices that we're putting out and that people are getting them on time and they're working, as well as having an easy to, to use app and sort of 24-7 customer uh, care um, so that people can uh, troubleshoot on the go, and a replacement policy if any issues arise. And we're seeking mostly uh, financial resources through venture capital. And then our cost structure, really the most important costs and resources are going to be R&D and software development costs, um, because this is still early stage. And sort of our most expensive activities most likely going to be advertising to get that word of mouth out. So thank you very much for your time.